Jurassic World Evolution 2 has recently come out with a brand new trailer revealing a lot of cool information about the game that we didn't really know much about before. And from new dinosaurs, campaign modes, and gameplay mechanics, it's shaping up to be a pretty interesting experience. Now, in this video, I'm going to be giving you my personal thoughts and opinions on what I think the game is doing right and what I think can be improved on, as well as everything that you can personally expect to see when the game gets released later on this year. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at Jurassic World Evolution 2. The game that many people are looking forward to in anticipation for the sixth chapter in the franchise, Jurassic World Dominion. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, we're going to go ahead and jump right into what can be seen in the new trailer. So immediately when I started watching the clips and footage that they were going about for Jurassic World Evolution 2, I saw a lot of cool stuff that I'll get into later, but the thing that jumped out at me immediately was the end, where they showcased Jurassic Park San Diego. Now for those of you who may not be as well versed in the Jurassic Park series as others of us, Jurassic Park San Diego is kind of a big deal. This was the second theme park that Hammond, or at least Hammond company, Engine, was going to open in the Lost World. It's a Jurassic Park theme park on the mainland, it basically looks like a coliseum, and it's where Ian and Sarah ran into to get the baby T-Rex to lure the big T-Rex back to the SS Venture. Peter Ludlow was behind this whole thing, even though it was actually built around in the 80s. Now, Jurassic Park San Diego was never really used in the movies, but a lot of fans, myself included, actually really like the idea of them incorporating it back into this game, because now that the dinosaurs are loose in the mainland, if you're gonna catch any, why not throw them in that old relic Jurassic Park San Diego that was almost operational and ready to receive visitors in less than a month, as Peter Ludlow put it in the second film. Now, I don't really know how Jurassic Park San Diego works as far as like the tourist side of everything, because like I said, it's a coliseum. So if you fill people in, is it basically, you know, come see our T-Rex eat goats at the command of a flare, or come see other dinosaurs do something with trainers or wranglers. I don't know, but you can't really just have a whole bunch of people sit down on their asses for like 12 hours staring at a dinosaur walk around all day. That just, it doesn't seem aesthetically or realistically just interesting to me or really believable, but it is in the game, which made me very, very interested and excited because like I said, and like a lot of you know, The Lost World is actually a big part of the reason why I am the fan that I am. Next up is probably the really, really cool stuff, and that would be the Mosasaurus and other aquatic dinosaurs like the Attenboroughsaurus, which is, by the way, named after David Attenborough, Richard Attenborough's brother, you know, John Hammond's real life brother, but uh, they've also got Plesiosaurus in there and a lot of other things. And just the idea of actually having the tourists witness the Mosasaur jumping out of the lagoon, eating the great white shark, Jurassic World being as popular and massive as it is, is. Six years later, we finally get to see that in a game. I know that we got it in other things, but it's just nice to see it finally get into the Jurassic World Evolution series. Should have been there from the start, in my opinion, but seeing it here, I gotta admit, it's still very, very cool. Now, there are other new dinosaurs as well, like Megalosaurus and other aquatic animals. I already mentioned some of the other reptiles that we'll be seeing. There's also new flyers. The most interesting, in my opinion, though, is definitely Geosternbergia, and I say this again as a big fan of The Lost World because this is a pteranodon that we didn't get to see in the final film, but it is a species that they were highly aware of and were trying to conceptualize during the production of the second Jurassic Park movie. I love that design. I don't know if this is a tease for it coming back in Jurassic World Dominion. I really hope so because it's just great in my opinion, but it is really cool to see those types of animals actually get re-implemented into games this far away from 1997. Another thing that I thought was really cool, and you can't really tell from the trailers, but there is an option to speed up the gameplay, which is incredible in my opinion. It's something that I watched over on James' channel, uh, The Gaming Beaver. He got to actually play the game. I would highly suggest going over there and watching that stuff from him because he does a great job always, but speeding up the gameplay in Jurassic World Evolution is a big deal because sometimes it takes forever to get something done on these park building games and you just want to get back to the gameplay and I know me personally and I can't be alone on this I feel like I'm not actually playing the game when I have to sit and wait for something to happen then it just becomes oh look around mode but now that you can speed that up really happy to hear about that another thing that really goes with that is actually the better combat and behavior displays because there's moments in the trailer where you see Nasutoceratops kind of nibbling on each other's horns you see dinosaurs running into goats before they attack them you see dinosaurs actually 
actually like sizing each other up and wrestling with one another. Really cool stuff. I'm really happy to see that it's more than just a very basic animation thing that they had going on in the first game. And I, I, that goes into some of my bigger critiques later on, but I am happy to see that you as a player will be able to actually see more interesting things from dinosaurs this time around that aren't limited to very predictable animations. Speaking of which, I want to get down to the meat and potatoes of this little mini review of the trailer and gameplay that I've seen so far as, you know, what it is. So, the reason this game could be very, very good is because it's basically taking everything you already knew about Jurassic World Evolution and upping it by 10. This is an improved version of a dinosaur roster, it's an improved version of how you can customize your park, it's an improved version of basically the amount of tools and accessories you have available to do different things as far as, like, repairing buildings, better Veterinary work with dinosaurs, catching dinosaurs, it is a better version of Jurassic World Evolution on paper. So at its best, it will basically maximize everything the last game did and Operation Genesis before it and just make the improved perfected version. That being said, personally, and you guys should know this if you've been watching me for a while, this game can only do so much for me in that regard. And the reason I say this is because while I am a big fan of Jurassic World and I'm a big fan of how they've treated the franchise over the last six years, they've, they've done a really good job, actually, comparatively to pretty much every other franchise I saw brought back. I was a big Star Wars fan. Uh, I like The Mandalorian. That's I'll leave it at that. But it, Jurassic World has done good, but for me as a fan of this franchise ever since I was a kid, I'm quite upset at the fact that this is just another park building game. And it's not really this game's fault, but I do want to put it out there again that I do feel Jurassic World as an entity has not really served people like me as well as they could have in terms of an actual Jurassic Park experience that I just think is sorely missing unless you watch the movies. The movies are very violent, the new movies I mean, and they are going in a direction that is very Crichton. It's also, it. a lot of people may seem to think that they're a little uh, more whimsical. I don't think so, especially watching the original Jurassic Park and comparing it to the new Jurassic World, especially Fallen Kingdom. But one thing I will say that if you want that sort of darker experience, you have to watch like the Indoraptor stuff in Fallen Kingdom or have to watch the Indominus tear people apart in Jurassic World. Otherwise, you're not going to get that kind of experience. And it's weird that this is a game. You know, you should actually be trying to run around and be in a first person mode or something like that eventually. Again, it's not Jurassic World Evolution 2's fault. It's just I feel like that has not been served to me yet in its purest form. That being said, as far as you, the gamer, what can you expect to see from Jurassic World Evolution 2? You can expect a lot. Basically, a better version of the first game with a lot of material that should have been in the first game at launch, but is only coming out right now. It's also more than likely going to tie in with Jurassic World Dominion in a lot of ways. Expect a new version of the Giganotosaurus. Expect things like the Therizinosaurus, Pyroraptors, Atrociraptors, all that good stuff to go over. We'll get to a lot of those cool details when I do a video on the new footage that has been revealed for Jurassic World Dominion. But as far as this stuff is concerned, I think you're basically going to be looking at Operation Genesis 3 at this point. You're basically getting the Jurassic World Park Building Ultimate Excellent Perfect Edition experience. And while there are a few things that I think could be improved upon as far as that goes, they only come from watching the Gaming Beaver play it and not actually having experienced it myself. But there are animation issues. There are a few things that I think could be better as far as like putting dinosaurs in the same location and having them interacting with each other. Everything updated looks great though. The aviaries look better, aquatic stuff is always cool, catching dinosaurs, veterinary work, like I said, all very fun stuff. And with all of that out of the way, I think that in the end, Jurassic World Evolution 2 is a game that will no doubt be successful and a great follow-up to both its 2018 predecessor as well as Operation Genesis. But I personally feel like this is the last time that I'm going to honestly consider a new park building Jurassic World or Jurassic Park game as being something that I'm really even interested in investing time in. Now that's not necessarily this game's fault again, I want to stress that, but I do think that it is the fault of Universal and the other companies surrounding the Jurassic Park franchise that have so far failed to really deliver on what I personally know, not just believe, but I get thousands of comments a day, I see it, I know to be a true 100% authentic Jurassic World experience. Gameplay wise, this is good. The dinosaur behaviors and unique variety of animals is all very fun and interesting. By the time it comes out, I'm sure it will be just as well received as the last game. As for what they can do in the future, I would just suggest going in a more action, suspense, or open world sort of direction. That's really all I have to say. But other than that, 
This is pretty much really cool. I'm gonna play Jurassic World Evolution 2 as soon as it comes out. I'm really looking forward into how they can do some dinosaur combat and catching dinosaurs in general. If you do one mode where you just let me get out of my Jeep, and be in first person and run around the park I built, I'll love you forever. But hey, what are all of your thoughts on it, guys? What do you think about the news surrounding Jurassic World Evolution 2? And are you looking forward to playing it as soon as it's released? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now, before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it really means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.